This is Microsoft Viva Connection. So this is a SharePoint based intranet running within Teams, right? Right here. Visual SP perspective is what we named it. Now, similarly, this right here is that same intranet, but it's running in the browser. You see any differences? Well, there are definitely differences, and I want to just walk through exactly what the differences are, so you're not surprised later. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is walk you through the experiences, the changes, or the differences, using a Visual SP walkthrough. So you see over here, this uh, is a button. It's a button we put up there using Visual SP, and when I click on it, a walkthrough will start up, showing you the differences. Number one, the suite bar and app bar that appears within the browser, not here. So the suite bar is this thing right here, right? That suite bar, which has got the waffle, it's got the search and all that stuff, it does appear for this site in the browser, does not appear in Viva Connections. Next one, the app bar right here would have been right there on the left, not there. So that's something to remember. I'll show that in the intranet, uh, in the web browser also in a second. Next, the search is available and you can type in information directly here to search your site that you're looking at. However, it's the second option. It's this one right here, not the first one. It's not the default option. So you have to type something in. It is integrated with what you're looking at on your intranet site, but it's not the default. If I just clicked on enter right now, it would start searching my chats, my teams, my conversations, which I don't want to search. I want to search the site. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the second option. So something to keep in mind. Next, different options compare. Yeah, these things over here, the four links, you got the favorite, the link for this page, the refresh, and then the web browser link to go to the web browser version of this page. Those are different than what you see in the web browser. Over there in the web browser, you see a not following, you see a share, which, which once again, I'll show that to you also in a, in a minute. Uh, and it's different. So the users will see a different experience in the web browser and different here, something to be aware of. And lastly, but definitely not least, that doesn't matter what your rights are within this application, within this uh, site, you will not get any editing privileges directly through Teams. If you want to edit this page, you know, upload documents, create new lists, libraries, new pages, whatever you want to do in SharePoint, you got to do it in the web browser. You can't do it here. So there's no edit capability. Like the edit would have been right there, like it shows. It's not there. Okay, let me just quickly show you then in the web browser what I've been showing. Here we go. Same site in the web browser. You got the sweet bar on top, waffle. You got the app bar on the left. You got the search, obviously. You got the new, all these different components cre creation. You got the edit capability. All that stuff is available in the web browser. If I make changes here, it will get made in the, in the Teams, the same site, <clears throat> but I can't make it in Teams. That's just how Viva connections work. So something to be aware of. And if you're wondering how I made this Viva walkthrough that I was showing all this stuff to you, uh, it's using the Visual SP walkthrough functionality. This is the actual walkthrough that I use, Viva Connections. And if I edit, uh, this was made within a matter of minutes, actually. There's a walkthrough builder with which we made this walkthrough. Just four steps here very easily. Select and choose where you want to point to. See, it's pointing over here. And once you select it, then, uh, you know, basically, you're, if I do a preview right now, here we go. That's what I was pointing at before. So very easy click and create type of a walkthrough mechanism. If you want to find out more, let's talk. Uh, go to visualsp.com and we can talk. Hopefully now you understand the differences between Viva Connections showing you a SharePoint intranet site within Teams as opposed to the same SharePoint intranet site being shown in the browser. Thanks for watching.